We're in the middle of the busy summer travel season, but some people are going nowhere fast because there's a massive backlog of processing passport applications. Adam Tuss reports on the massive challenges that the State Department is facing in meeting the demand for new passports. Just about everyone has their own story or knows someone who's dealing with a passport delay. Perhaps that they were desperate to get their passports because they had vacations planned and bookings, you know, that they didn't want to cancel. And if you kind of miss a step, then you have to kind of start all over. The State Department now says it doesn't expect to get passport processing times down to pre-COVID levels until at least the end of the year. An official statement reads, we're directing resources to meet the unprecedented demand seen so far in 2023. We're on track to set the record for the highest demand year ever. During some weeks this winter, the department received more than 500,000 applications, the highest number ever for this time of year. I mean, I've heard like 15, 16 weeks to get something back, so it's a huge amount of time, um, which puts some risk on your travel. <laughs> Jeremy Klein and his family aren't taking chances. They'll be traveling to France next summer, so they're getting everything squared away now, especially for their son. Smart move, because if you get in a time crunch, you may not find much help at an actual passport application center. Kathy Banks is a travel expert with Legacy Travel. Now you've got an, a big wave of people that A, haven't traveled and are dying to travel, and B, um, their passports may be expired and they didn't want to get them renewed during the height of the whole COVID meltdown. We just had um, one member of a family yesterday have to cancel out of their family's trip to Jamaica because his passport didn't arrive. One other pitfall she says people are running into, kids under 16 only have passports that last five years compared to 10 years for those 16 and older. That's Adam Tuss reporting. The State Department is asking people to plan on it taking six full months to get your passport.